Hey guys, uh, we are back here. Um, so, like I said in the other video, uh, we're gonna load this thing up. Uh, we're gonna bring it over to a guy that's gonna check it out, see if he can weld, uh, see if he can weld the tunnel, put a plate, do whatever he's got to do, um, whatever his plan is. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully he can uh, give us some good news. We can get this thing fixed, get it ready for the winter, and uh, finally have this whole situation behind us and uh, enjoy it for one year, finally. Um, so, just gonna go hook up the trailer, load it on, and uh, head to town. So as you can see, it's a different day. Um, had to bring it back for uh, another time. Um, but the good news here is that it's snowing, as you can see. We're heading back to see the guy. Um, I went there last week, but uh, it was a nice sunny Friday and uh, he had already gone for the day. Can't really blame him on that one. Uh, so we're gonna head back there now and um, he said he should be there. It's kind of earlier in the morning now, so uh, we are gonna go see what he has to say. Hopefully it's good news and uh, we can get this thing fixed pretty soon. So we got some good news over there. Um, basically said uh, we should need to take the skid out of it, make sure there's no gas, take out the computer, uh, you know, make sure it's all clean and everything. And uh, yeah, they can weld it up no problem. Uh, they'll fix up that hole. I think they said they might put a plate or they're going to do something, I'm assuming a plate, whatever they're going to do. I went over there to uh, see what they said, they, uh, the welder came out, he took a look at it. I showed him the side and he said, oh, thing's brand new, you can fix that no problem, we've seen way worse than this. So, um, I mean, I kind of assumed that they probably would have seen worse than that, I just didn't know uh, with it being the actual, uh, you know, with the actual bolt on the side here. I didn't know if uh, fixing that would uh, would require more work or whatever, but uh, yeah, I don't know. He seemed uh, he seemed pretty uh, pretty confident that they could fix it. Uh, he said pretty much next week, uh, give him a call. I think he said he had some other aluminum stuff to weld, so give him a call if they're uh, if they have all their welding or aluminum welding stuff set up for it. Uh, drop it by, they'll get it done and. Uh, We'll be on our way. So hopefully this thing will be back together real soon, ready to rock. Um, I'm just waiting for the uh, the front arm under here. That arm under there. Just waiting for that to come in. I have that on order. Um, and then, uh, yeah, this thing will be good to go. Uh, so uh, from now, I just need to take out the skid figure out how I'm going to take out those bolts because that shaft is what's holding them in and it's snapped so it just keeps spinning on each side. So I'm going to figure that one out and then uh, get this thing apart, get it ready to bring it over there for when he says he's good to go. We're going to fix it, we're going to get it back together. Alright, so we're getting ready to tear the suspension out of the back of this thing. Um, I do see it being a little bit difficult with that shaft being snapped in half. Obviously it's uh, kind of what holds the bolts on each end uh, from spinning each other. Um, so when you just kind of try to loosen it, both of them just kind of uh, are going to spin. But uh, we're going to try some stuff and uh, see if we can get it out. Uh, so we just have to do that, get the gas out of it, uh, clean up the engine bay, take out the computer and uh hopefully that uh should be it and it'll be good to go and uh you'll be able to weld on it that's probably the third maybe fourth time taking the hood off um and it's also been at least a year since i've taken it off but uh, as you see, it's uh, quite a task. Two bolts to take off. You gotta do undo all these wires and uh, take the air box off because the air box is in the hood. 
Um, it's definitely a little bit of a task. It's not too bad. It's just, you know, you need to you need a little cheat sheet to remember all of the friggin' stuff to do. Um, but uh, yeah, now that that's off, I'll take out the computer. Uh, I kind of wanted to take the hood off first, I guess, just before I took the suspension off. I don't know, in case I, I don't know why, but it felt like an easier, <laughs> it felt like an easier decision to do. Um, but yeah, as you can see, uh, not gonna be much cleaning in here. It's, uh, it's pretty clean. A little down there, but not bad. A little bit of brake dust over here. Brake dust and belt dust, I guess. And uh, yeah. So I guess now we'll start working on the suspension and stuff and uh, we can go from there. Uh, I've struggled a little bit to get the, uh, the bolts out here. Um, because as you can see, uh, you know, we got a crack here. So the shaft that's holding uh, this bolt and the other bolt in, they just both spin either way. There's nothing to kind of hold them there. Usually they kind of, each bolt kind of holds it there. Um, so the shaft's just spinning. So I was trying a couple things from this side. I don't know if you can, I don't know if my camera angle is good or not, but I was trying a couple things and nothing was really working. And then uh, had to uh, send out a text. My brother was, uh, I guess, a G who's a genius, told me to just drill a hole right through it. And then, uh, oops, and then uh, just put a punch in there. And then just hold it like that while you uh, while you take the bolt out. And uh, I'm kind of embarrassed to admit that I didn't think of that because that's a pretty smart idea. But uh, as you can see, the bolt came out with part of the tunnel. So now the hole looks uh, even worse. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just need to go do this on the other side and then take out the back ones and we will be able to pull this thing out. Okay, so that's out of there now. And uh, I guess the only thing holding it up at the moment is nothing. Just the backside, I guess. So now I'm just going to um, I guess undo the back ones. Usually I tip it on its side so I can get it out. I think I'll probably do that. That'll probably be my easiest way. Uh, so yeah, tip it on its side and I guess we'll see. A lot of metal for that bad broke. Not the whole metal, right? But there's three layers there, plus the other part that came off with the bolt. There it is with the 
uh, skid out, which was easy and would have been easier if I didn't have to, you know, do these two parts separately by drilling them and everything. And if that one back there wasn't as tight as it was, but uh, yeah, we're good now. See, that's where I drilled through to put the punch in to hold it. And that's where I tried to use a different method to hold it. And as you can see that like this is like I, there's no wonder that this part also snapped. Like I, it feels like I'm holding nothing. Like that is so light. I know it's aluminum there, but still. Okay, so what else, what else? Uh, here is the hole in the tunnel. Looks worse when there isn't anything there. Uh, out about from the back side. The back side, I guess, isn't too bad. Yeah, he said, uh, so I'm going to take this sticker off. Uh, I'm going to try to save it if I can't. If not, then I don't know. Maybe we'll see if I can get another one. I think it would kind of look, I like the big, yeah, I like the X here. I have to take my bumper off too to get it out. But anyway, that's uh, that's a different, that's not to really to worry about. Uh, what else? I should probably put it back on its feet just because, you know, because. And um, yeah, just had to take out the computer, drain the gas. Hopefully it didn't already all drain out. Doesn't smell gas in here, so it should be good. And then, uh, Come Friday, today's Wednesday night, so come Friday, should be able to bring it to the guy. He said an hour, be able to pound this out flat, weld it, put a plate, do whatever he's got to do. On the front, on the back. And uh, call it good. So now the plan is pretty much just to uh, get the gas out of here. Um, I got my Trusty little siphon. Uh, dump it into that jerry can over there. I'm uh, gonna lift it up. I mean, hopefully enough to get most of the gas to the front. Hopefully it's uh, good enough. And then we just gotta take out the ECM. Now, I didn't realize that they have gas lines going through it. Um, I wasn't really sure what that was for. I was informed it could be for cooling. I don't know. I was told that's what they do on newer vehicles, so that could be what they do in here. But uh, yeah, not too sure. So there it is, ready to load it up tomorrow morning. Uh, the straps are just kind of to hold the uh, track from dangling so I can pick it up and kind of push it forward without the track kind of getting in my way. Um, but yeah, here we go. The uh, ECM is all unplugged. I guess I could have opened this first. ECM's all unplugged in there. I got uh, I got it unhooked. Still on there. Um, I had also disconnected the grounds and taped those up just I don't know just in case. I'm not really sure how the whole uh, welding art kind of interferes with everything, but just trying to. I guess do my best uh, to prevent it. Um, yeah, so the other side is kind of what you've seen the most. And then uh, I kind of always knew that this had a little bit of, of a crack, but the uh, deck was here, so I never really looked at it that much. I mean, I knew it needed to be fixed anyways. But yeah, I could see it starting to crack, uh, starting to crack here. Um, and it's not very straight, it's a little, Kind of like this. I don't know if you can tell or not, but uh, yeah, so I'm assuming under there is probably cracked too. You can see it's pushed out here. So I think we're going to try to flatten this down too and hopefully do something about that. Uh, what else here? I think that's pretty much it for now. Okay, so we got the sled back from getting welded, getting fixed up. 
Um, I sort of started doing some stuff without kind of taking a video of it because I don't know. I guess I don't really know what I'm doing, but uh, so as you can see here, um, that's where the weld was. I don't know if I took a video of it at all. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But uh, anyway, you can kind of, when this wasn't painted, you obviously could see where the patch was. But uh, yeah, you just kind of cut out, cut out a square, welded in a new patch, uh, remade this little uh, you know, triangle piece or whatever. Um, and then I threw some, uh, just threw some paint primer on it. And I was able to get some paint matched to the color of the sled. Um, it's not 100% factory, but it's pretty dang close. Uh, apparently it's a BMW color. And yeah, so now that I got that on there, I'm just going to kind of rough it up a little bit. Throw a shot of this on it, see what it looks like. And also, finally got the new shaft of this that came in. That is fixed up. The old one is over here. Kind of got stuff everywhere. Here it is. So that was the old one, broken right there. Um, and then, yeah, this one here not broken okay so we're back in here uh the paint's dry looks good we are going to see if we could tell a difference between the two different colors when we take this um awesome masking job off uh hopefully we can't i uh, i know the can said metallic on it but uh like here you can really tell it is but here i don't know i don't think you can really tell plus i got that brace over there that's gonna go on this, so I think you, uh, I think you won't be able to tell. Um, hopefully, anyway. If not, we'll just put a, we'll just put a sticker over here. Uh, so yeah, let's see, uh, let's see what we got here. I mean, that looks pretty close. You can tell this one is a little, a little sparklier, but I don't think, uh, I don't think we'll know. I hope we won't know. This is uh, this is harder than it looks like. There we go. You definitely see where the line was, which I was sort of expecting. Yeah, I mean you can uh, you can tell where it was, but from back here you can almost hardly tell. Tell it's a little shinier, a little uh, got a little more sparkle, a little more metallic, but uh, you know what? I'm happy with it because hmm. well. Because, um, let's see, I got these guys that I'm going to put on there. These will go like this, uh, like this, and then you won't really be able to tell. Probably you're going to have to put a sticker here on this part, but you won't really, really be able to tell. Uh, so these guys are skidoo, a skidoo part. The, um, the website 
says they only fit they don't say well it doesn't say they fit the 146 it says it's only for the uh the 154 and up and i think the summit x and stuff well there's different models but those ones only fit the 154 and up free rides and uh i think the summit x and stuff so i wasn't uh too sure why it wouldn't fit these so i looked up the part number for the running boards on this one the 146 and on the 154 and the part number is the same so i figured it's got to be it's got to be the same um the same brace that that should fit and luckily it does so i just gotta kind of pop that on and then i'll be able to drill the holes for the rivets um let's see here it comes with yeah it comes with a bunch of rivets um i'm guessing they come in bags of 20s so i think there's 10 11 rivets each i'm assuming there's 21 bag and that's why there's two left and these are longer bolts to go um in here just to help, I guess, with the extra little bit of extra little bit of width you're gonna get here. So that's pretty cool. Um, they got the fancy yellow Loctite that's impossible to get on and off. So yeah, now I'm gonna take this side off here. This masking uh, job, this horror show, take that off. Hopefully I can kind of clean up the edges, kind of smoothen it out, maybe, we'll see. And then, yeah, we can get these, these braces on, drill the holes, get the rivets in, and hopefully get the skid back in, all the plastics on, and then we'll be good to go, hopefully. All right, back together, all in one piece. Um, looks good, anyways, I think so. As you can see, got the uh, braces on here. Like I said, those are skidoo piece, but it says it doesn't fit the 146, it just fits the 154 and up. And uh, yeah, I just made sure that the uh, part number for this free ride, the 150, or sorry, the 146 and the 154, the running boards are the same part number. I looked at the same year, obviously, because if you look at a different year, it's a different color and it will be a different part number. But for this color, and this year, part number is the same, so I figured it's got to fit, and it does. It's pretty good. And there's 11 rivets on each side, so that should be uh, that should be pretty solid there, anyway. And uh, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, we've got one on this side, and yeah. So uh, last thing to do is just make sure that it starts up. Had all the, uh, the computer and everything unplugged when he was welding just to make sure nothing happened to it. And uh, I guess we still just gotta make sure that's nothing's wrong. And let's see here. 